John, throughout your career as a performer, you've been a real champion of 20th century British music. Uh, just looking through your discography, I can see recordings of, among others, Ross Thorne, Bax, Howells, Vaughan Williams, Bridge and Richard Rodney Bennett. But from a composer's point of view, uh, how difficult do you think it is uh, for a, a, a young composer now to find his own voice? Ah, yes, very good question. Um <clears throat> People are bombarded by music all the time. They are, and it, I think that... Uh, I mean, it's always... Uh, during my lifetime, it's been relatively easy to listen to music anyway because it's been on the radio and once the, 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 the third programme was... and then the music programme was set up, there was music all, all the time. The problem for a young composer now is that anything goes. I mean, when I was growing up... Uh, there was still, when I was a student, you know, university and college, there was still the tradition of uh, the old school of post Brahms, really, Stanford, that sort of thing. Um, <clears throat> Stanford was a jolly good composer, by the way. I'm not criticising him as a composer, but there was that tradition. The other tradition which was coming in was the progressive one, the post Schoenberg. And that was extremely narrow and very dogmatic, I'm afraid. I just, there is quite a lot of post Schoenberg music, which I think is very good. But the teaching that was very dogmatic, this is the truth, this is the true way, and anything else is not acceptable. Um, and I, th I think that actually made it easier for composers, for young composers, because you either went with the flow or you looked around and said, no, this is not for me, I must find my own thing, and you found it. Now, there is much less, there are still pockets of post Schoenberg dogma, but it's, there is much less of that, and there is much more freedom to do what you like. You can do minimalist music, you can do post Schoenberg, you can do aleatoric, you can do, um, you know, quite conservative tonal music, and suddenly that is acceptable again. All these things are doable, which means the young composer can do anything and nobody is actually going to say, hold on, this is not on, you've, you've, got, to, you've got to stick to this, this narrow road. It's much easier to find yourself if you've got a discipline to kick against.